Hi guys, Miss Abate here. So today's lesson, we are gonna be working on unit one, week five, spelling, okay? So if you remember from last week's spelling, we worked on the long A sound, right? So we were working on short vowel sounds. So the short A makes the A, the long A made the A sound. Sorry about that, thought my dogs were gonna start barking. So today we're gonna to work on the long I sound, okay? So like the word five, okay? The word five, say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three, five, okay? Do you guys hear that I uh, vowel sound in the middle of it? The I've, so that is the sound that we're gonna be working with today. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna do a little bit of work on the whiteboard, okay? So that way you guys can see and hear what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna go back to the word that we just discussed and you guys said with me, five, okay? So we have the vowel sound, which is the I, right? And if you remember from our lesson with the long A, there's a silent E at the end, right? So the word doesn't say I-V-E, right? We know that this silent E makes that vowel say its name. So that's what we're gonna be working with today. So I want you guys to make sure you have, a, have something to write with and something to write on, because we are gonna be doing some spelling work today, of course, okay? So if you don't have that, please go ahead and pause the video and get that taken care of. If you do already have it, let's continue working with some more spelling words, okay? So if I have this word up here, k, it, k, it, kit, okay? Because the I is alone, so it makes the short I sound, which is I. So I want you guys to repeat this word right here, kit, with me on the count of three. One two, three, kit, very good. Now, if we add that silent E at the end, what does that do to the I sound? It makes it a long I. So instead of kit, it is now kite. So I want you guys to say that with me on the count of three. One, two, three, kite, very good, okay? I want us to write the word kite down three times, and I want us to say it every time we write it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this, and we're gonna start by writing the word kite down three times, okay? So follow along with me. K I t, we know it has that silent E, kite, okay? Let's write it again. K I t. Silent E to make that I say its name. One more time. K I t. Kite. Very good. All right. So now we're going to work with some more sound, or excuse me, some more words, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. Don't erase this. I'm erasing it on mine because I obviously need more room. I want you guys to keep working on the paper or whatever it is that you're working on or writing with right now, okay? So we're gonna practice between that short I sound, which makes the I, and the long I sound that makes the I, okay? So I'm gonna write this word down. I want you to tell me what is this word? B, I, it, bit, good. If I add the E, what sound does that make? Or excuse me, what word does that make? Bite, good, very good. What about the word er, I, p? What is that word? Rip, if I add the silent E to it, now, what is that sound? 
I keep saying sound, I apologize. What is that word? Ripe. Very, very good. So I hope you're writing these words down with me on your paper, okay? So we have, next have the word D-I-M. What is that word? D-I-M. Remember, short I, I, I. So D-I-M. If I add that silent E to the end, what's our new word? Dime. Very, very good. All right. So I think you guys now have the hang of pronouncing our short I versus our long I. We're going to get into a little bit more work with it right now, okay? So I'm going to